Hey, my lovely friend Aries. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching my video. And I'm your friend Nahi, by the way. Uh, today, Aries, I'd like to give you the general message for this week. And I'm going to slightly touch on the how they feel about you and love and romance reading. Are you ready? Okay. All right. So for the general energy for this week, what's the energy? What's the message from the above? I really hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. And let me begin our reading. Aries. It's time for you to let go of something, okay? Letting go, learn to let go, Aries. Learn to let go of control issues. Learn to let go of the past pain, past wound, past hurt. It's time for you to move forward. And if you are still dealing with the past energy, past hurt, it's really tough for you to move forward. So Aries, this week, it's time to let it go. It's time to let bygones be bygones, okay? Whoever... Whoever you dealt with, when whatever you dealt with in the past, or just two hours ago, one hour ago, it's time for you to move forward. Say goodbye to any kind of burdenful negative energy. Okay, letting go. And another one is originality. 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 Blaze your own trail. Aries, it's time for you to be more creative and to be uh, comfortable with just the way you are, okay? Please, Aries, you are... The first zodiac sign of 12, uh, 12 zodiac signs. So I know that you are by nature, you are the leader and you are the creative being and you are passionate in doing whatever you want to do. So go move forward. Never doubt about your originality. Never doubt about your special talent within yourself. Okay. Whoever say, whoever says what, no matter what says what, no matter who says what, okay. Any kind of negative feedback, it's time to give it to the trash can okay it's time to rejuvenate yourself from any kind of toxic energy it's time for you to move forward okay and um, from the monology deck don't let your past hold you back you got this message okay the angel and spirit guide highly recommend you to move forward leave the past behind okay don't let your past hold you back my lovely aries it's time for you to move forward mm -hmm. the car that's just the energy today is repeating the clear message itself letting go let go of the past hurt and move forward look because you got this one look at the bigger picture look at the bigger picture it's time for you to look at the bigger picture mm -hmm. any kind of situation any kind of problem that you are dealing with you may feel like that that problem or that situation is the end of the world and you may feel like there is no hope or there is no solution for that but from from a mountain or bird eye view from a divine point of view if i mean you know from a bigger from a higher how do i say you know when you go to when you take the airplane you know when you go look down everything seems very small and everything seems very slow even the yacht or the ship in the ocean the speed of the ocean is really it looks very uh, slower okay from a from the above, from the airplane point of view, okay? So my point is, even though you're dealing with a specific situation, just think it that way. From a perspective of your long and uh, abundant life, the little situation, at the moment you feel like that is a big and a serious problem, right? But from a bigger point of view, that's nothing. Nothing but a small problem. So. Whoever says what and what kind of situation make you a headache, remember that you're going toward your life path. Yeah, that's the energy for the week. Wow, very deep. And uh, yeah, I really hope you stay strong, whatever comes to you. You know that you're always with your spirit guide and you know that you can listen to your intuition. The only, the only, the only channel that you, you can rely on is your intuitive power, intuition. Okay, Aries? And there, oh my gosh, forgiveness. Okay, it's time to you. It's time for you to let go of the past hurt or comic ex partners or any anybody who made you feel down, who made you feel sad, okay, or who made you feel miserable or depressed. It's time for you to forgive them. Mm -hmm. Forgive, forgive, forgive the past hurt. Forgive the people. Forgive yourself. Okay, it's time for you to forgive and forget and move forward. Yeah. One more from the angel answer. Okay, my lovely Aries. 
the energy is very heavy. I can feel that you may have cried a lot. I know I can feel it. Within the next few months, within the next few months, can you clarify, Angel? It's not the right time. Okay, okay. This is not the right time. But within the next few months, what will happen? Angel, I know that for my lovely Aries, this is not this is not the right time. We have to wait until maybe July or August. Okay, what will happen? Be assertive. Be assertive. Don't stop. Okay, be assertive and don't stop. Within the next few, okay, I got it. I got the download. This is this is not the right time to move forward. Oh, Aries, you need more time, maybe one or two more months, because it's, it's your healing time, okay? Forgiveness and letting go of the past hurt. It takes a lot of time and energy and cry and sadness. You have to cry a lot to clear up your negative, sad memories. So until I can feel that, until the mid-August, you may need your alone time to heal yourself fully. Okay, so it, it may not be the right time to jump into any kind of new business or new challenges or new people, okay? It, maybe you have to wait a couple of months to fully recover yourself from any kind of past hurt. But if you decided to move forward with a certain dream or with a certain person, don't stop. Be assertive and don't start. But the angels just highly recommend you to heal yourself first from the negative past memories, past traumatic event, whatever that is, and try to see the bigger picture. Okay, Aries? Wow. And Aries, I just want to know what's going on with your love life. Keep an open mind, my lovely friend Aries. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So your soulmate may be different country maybe they have different eye colors i don't know they might be different so there will be a lot of challenges between you guys but the universe and and just trying to give you the message that is trust okay this situation is calling for you to have faith you may have to deal with a lot of challenges and a lot of naysayers who says no you cannot be together you are too different something like that mm -hmm. but if you trust that you guys love each other. You can overcome any kind of difficulties or obstacles or challenges between you guys. Yes, Angel says stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. One more. Okay, my lovely Angel. It is safe for you to love. It's okay for you to love and to be loved, my lovely friend Aries. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Okay, by the way, this reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aries. Okay, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's okay for you to fall in love again. It's okay for you to open and vulnerable to special someone. Okay, my lovely Aries. So I just want to know what's your special person's hidden feeling toward you. How do they feel about you, my lovely friend Aries? Okay. <coughs> Special person and you. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. So funny. They crave your attention so much, okay, Aries? Your special person wants the attention and the text message and phone call from you. I crave your attention so much. And they bought, but there's some story. You guys are not together temporarily, at the moment, I mean. There was a drama, huh? Right? <laughs> they are asking you, am I your type? Am I your type? I don't know if I'm good for you. Aries, what's going on? Your special person, I mean, your ex-partner or your, you know, somebody in your heart space, they really want to be back with you they are looking forward to meeting you again but you're not together physically right now right aries i know i self-sabotage this connection what's going on you are not together and they are asking you again am i your type do you love me do you like me i don't know if i'm good for you okay they're not sure how you truly feel about them and they are not 100 percent sure whether you will take them back or not because they, they feel guilty they are the one who to be blamed, so to speak. And they know that because 
they played mind games look at that i pushed it you away because i was scared oh they were scared of getting hurt they were scared of generally speaking you know they were scared of, scared of getting rejected they are they are scared of getting abandoned you know abandonment issue they have rejection issue that kind of things so they, they didn't fully open to you and be vulnerable to you my lovely aries so they push it your way and they are asking did you really love me did you really love me maybe aries for some of my lovely aries you got frustrated because of the behavior from this energy i can feel that you blocked them or you didn't reply their text message you guys are not talking that much as you guys used to be before right so they are uh, questioning did you really love me and they are sorry for everything they did i'm sorry my love i'm really sorry my love and they want to talk with you again but for some reason you are not you're not uh friendly you are very core to them these days you're giving them silent treatment silent silent <laughs> silent treatment you know then you're not talking with them mm -hmm. aries so you never gave me a chance mm -hmm. they are saying that aries you never gave me a chance to express myself or defend myself you never gave me a chance you didn't hear me out yes aries yeah of course because they are the one who push it you away and they are saying right now i have some gift for you my love i have some gift for you material gift where i don't know maybe real authentic feeling toward you i just want to pull the bottom of the deck to clarify this love story aries okay okay you are worthy is their hidden feeling toward you they now realize that you are worthy and precious than anything else and any than anybody else in the world they even though they know that you're beautiful and they are worthy they are not sure that's the that's the that's the issue they are not sure whether they are good enough okay maybe they have some financial issues or other relationship other ex-partners that I, that they have to energetically speaking deal with yeah yes right so but anyway they know that you're worthy and they also saying that i don't have to prove anything to you my lovely aries because they themselves know that their feeling toward you is real and authentic one and they don't want to verbally express the feeling because they really want you to feel their love you know okay but the ego and mind games were in between you guys in the past so okay one more okay so 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 even though they push it your way even though they play the mind games they still miss you they want to come back to you so they want to know how you truly feel about them what is the truth that is that that is the ultimate final question that they want to ask you mm -hmm. what is the truth so aries what is the truth toward them how do you feel about them are you going to reconcile with them if yes are you going to text them back again or if no are you going to totally ignore and block them it's up to you my lovely friend aries okay just in case you don't know who want to come back to you i just want to pull some zodiac and initials my lovely angel please give me some hints for my lovely aries okay all right so special person who want to come back to you might be capricorn someone rising venus or libra someone right someone rising venus or your special person might be Leo, someone rising Venus, or it might be Pisces, someone rising Venus, or they might have L in their names, first name, last name, middle name, or R, okay, first name, middle name, last name, or F, they might have F in their name, okay. So, does it ring a bell? Okay, is there hidden messages, hidden feeling toward you? They crave your attention so much and they want to come back to you, but they are not sure how you feel about them. So they want to know the truth. Okay, that's about it for this week, my lovely Aries. I really hope you navigate your life, love life and general life this week with uh, determination, with the angel power within yourself, with the intuition. I know that you can stay strong and you can move forward anywhere you want to go, right? Okay, I really hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you. Namaste. I love you. Bye, Aries. I'll be back.